Can you hear that? <laughs> That's the crunch right there. That's what you want. Music is important to you. Yeah, it was like a music into pizza transition. I was living in Los Angeles, trying to play music down there, trying to like make that my profession. And I was working in restaurants, working in bars, so I could tour as well. And then when I kind of gave up on that, I was like, well, I've like worked in restaurants forever, like maybe I should lean into this. So I had the food truck, and then when the pandemic hit and we shut the cart down for a few weeks, I was just at home and I ordered a couple of pans. I got really into it. I was like getting all nerdy with it. And then this space opened up. This was a pizza place before and it already had conveyor belt ovens in it. So I was like, well, I've already been like learning about Detroit and style pizza, so why don't I just like continue on with that? I took the lease over here and then I needed a name. And I was like, all right, what's a good name? What's a good name? And then I was like on a walk and I was like listening to music. Yeah. And the song Boxcar from Jawbreaker came on. Like boxcar pizza. All right, that makes sense. I had never had like a proper Detroit style pizza up to that point. Yeah, which would and be hard to find vegan. Totally, yeah. exactly, almost impossible. I never right. wanted the selling point to be that it's vegan. I wanted yeah. to be like, oh, it's a good pizza. And like, the best thing is when omnivores come in, they try and they're like, oh, I never would have known. That's what you're going for right that there. so good. Yeah, that fluff. Yeah. And then you got the crisp right there, the nice. cheese walls. Wow. You definitely like, Take a nap on this dough. Yeah, it's always the goal. Like a little pillow. Mm -hmm. 